Hello and welcome to VB411. I'm your host, Ms. Information. The know-it-all in City Hall here again to bring truth and clarity to misconceptions and rumors. Today, we're going on a field trip to take a closer look at what all our recreation centers have to offer. February isn't exactly full of outdoor fun and activities for everyone. And if I'm being completely honest, you can include me in that statement. So, what all can you do at one of our rec centers and why should you join one? Well, here to give us the 411 is field correspondent Brandon Mitchell. And it looks like he's already taking advantage of one of our fine facilities. Take it away, Brandon. 998, 999, 1000. Thanks, Ms. Information. I'm here at the Kempsville Rec Center. And the one thing I noticed is the moment I walked in is that there is a lot that this place offers. So much to where I don't even know where to begin, but luckily I came out with a workout partner in Julie Braley, and she's with Parks and Recs, and we're gonna bug her with a couple questions. Hey, Julie. Hey. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. So I just signed up today. One thing I noticed right off the bat is that this is super affordable for what it has to offer. Can you tell me a little bit more about the pricing? Absolutely. Our pricing is so affordable. We really want people to come in and get involved, and that means reducing that entry fee so that people have that access. We have rates for adults, children, families, and seniors, and our seniors may even qualify for free membership through their insurance. We participate with Silver Sneakers, Silver and Fit, and Renew Active. Everybody loves something that is free, absolutely, yes. right? Now, this is one of seven locations, and for those who don't know, in 2017, Kimsel Rec Center was recently renovated, correct? Correct, and we have locations all the way from Great Neck to Princess Anne all around the city. Each is just a little bit unique to its community, which is part of the charm and appeal and what makes them a little bit different than your average gym. Now speak to this, you say not your average gym. What is it that makes this place unique? We really are more of a community center. Yes, we have all of the things that make a gym a gym. We have all the equipment, we have pools, we have a gymnasium, but we have something that others don't, and that's that real community feel. And we want people to feel at home here, be able to get involved in lots of different types of activities, and we even offer free inclusion services so that people who may need an accommodation or something to come in and start living the healthy lifestyle are able to do that through our team of inclusion specialists. So I can come here, swim, get my workout, be adventurous, have fun, but what if I want to host an event? Yep, we even host birthday parties, um, showers, and just room rentals. If you're maybe having a community meeting or something and you need a space to do that, rec centers have you covered. I mean, it is so affordable, so easy, especially if you're a parent. I had my child's birthday party here over the summer, and it was fantastic. They set up, they break down, they even blow up your balloons for you. Okay, so my daughter's second birthday party at the Kempsville Rec Center. Got it. Check that box. <laughs> now, where can people go to find out more information about all the rec centers? Our website has all the information you need, including schedules for our fitness classes, even our pickleball schedules, which is a great sport that many people are getting active in now. And it'll tell you each about all the different centers. So if you want to find a place with an aqua track or an indoor fitness track, just like here at Kempsville, we have all that information on our website, vbgov.com parks. Awesome, thanks, Julie. Now, there you have it. Everything from your little youngsters to seniors. There's literally something for everybody, Ms. Information. Back to you. 999, a thousand. Ah, nicely done, Brandon. Oh, and don't skip leg day while you're out there. For more information about all the offerings from our Parks and Recs Department, please visit their website at www.vbgov.com parks. And now you're in the know. Thanks for joining me today. Do you have a question you'd like us to answer on the air? Well, you know what to do. Send an email to misinfo at vbgov.com and we'll get on it. See you next time. 999, 1000.